You all know what time it is. It's time for me to make another video where I criticize something VTuber related and put the most bare minimum effort and research into it as possible. But first I asked you guys if I should make this video and the poll says yes, so I'm doing it and it's your fault if it sucks. We're not criticizing VTubers themselves this time. This time we're criticizing the heads. The companies behind them. Niji Sanji, a company that I had already criticized in the past. The corruption behind this company was first exposed when one of the livers, Selen, wanted to hold an event where fans could design an avatar for her, and the winner would be given a large sum of money. But the company denied to give the funds for this. She had to beg to hold the event at all, and the prize money was coming out of her own pocket now. And even after that, Niji Sanji still shut down the stream on their own accord. Sometime after that, they were she was inexplicably banned from events, so when she tried to do a cover song without permission, they immediately privated it. Then, for a while, there was silence. Until just recently, when it was revealed that she had been in the hospital after making an attempt on at her own life. And why, exactly? because she had been being repeatedly bullied in the Niji Sanji workplace by the CEO and others. And what was their response to this? They completely terminated her. Oh, and they didn't even tell her that they terminated her. She found out through a tweet. Then they doubled down and forced their little puppets, the other livers, to make some stupid message stream to her. They exposed a bunch of unnecessary personal information. And then the CEO himself finally had to come out and make an apology video. So I've been thinking about these little rats for a while. People making different claims, some people thinking that the other tubers were active participants in the bullying, others thinking that they are completely being forced to say these things. One thing's for sure is that it was mandated and they're being pressured into saying it. You should never allow yourself to be pressured like this. If you disagree with something, do not hide the, that fact. That was until I took a look at Selen's channel and realized when they said they were terminated, they meant it. The channel's still there, but there is nothing. It's completely been scrubbed clean. It makes me wonder if Niji Sanji is going to sell it to one of those YouTube channel buying black markets for some stupid verified commenter to take. So if they did speak up and actually lashed out, they would just vanish. Seven of them did actually quit, but that's not that much compared to how many they still have. Most of the original batch I covered ages ago is still there. So there's definitely a few of them that were probably just bootlicking Niji Sanji in this, but for the most part, I don't think any of the actual channels are responsible. We're not even done with the offenses, though, because apparently they've also been coveting all of the Liver's play buttons, which is just so petty. It's not like having that plaque actually... The whole reason people find joy in having trophies is because they can look at it and say, I accomplished that. You didn't accomplish anything. All you did was leech this off of the success of individuals more talented than you. And our final offense is that all year, Selen was paid nothing. Zilch. And it really is just crazy that a company could just wipe away years of your life's work because they felt like it. So Selen has returned to her old indie channel called Doki Bird, and all of her fans migrated there. There's tons of claims of the millions of restrictions, well we already saw many of them, but there's a lot of talk of the many, many restrictions that Niji Sanji has over what you can do and say, so I wanted to compare her, ch her associated channel to her indie channel, but not even fan re-uploads of any of the streams still exist. It's all just gone. When I first found Niji Sanji ages ago, I accused it of being a scheme made by one dude using alt accounts and personalities. But when I found out it was a company, my thoughts on it didn't change. The whole idea of a bunch of people's YouTube channels just being run 
by a company that dictates everything just sounded wrong. And it weirded me out even more knowing that it, the fans supposedly actually were completely aware that it was a company and still supported it. It still had the moment this company launched these v these channels, they already had tens of thousands of subscribers. These ch VTubers are like the equivalent of the people in those mascot costumes at anime conventions and stuff. No one cares for the well-being of the person in that costume or even thinks about them. They're only there to entertain and satisfy the crowd and c make money for the companies. And this whole thing has got me thinking back to a comment on one of my previous videos about how there are a lot of corrupt companies in this industry just waiting to be exposed. So I did a little digging. I couldn't find any dirt on Hololive. Looking up Hololive and, co and exposed just gives you those really unfunny, very obviously scripted clips where different livers would expose each other for looking at degenerate content or something along those lines. But I did find one really awful company called Owozu. That name was already a massive red flag. And apparently, literally every single person in the company has allegedly been harassed in inappropriate ways by the staff and the higher-ups. This is a Spanish company, and I don't know Spanish, and for some reason the translation button on Twitter won't work. I can't actually show any proof of any of this, so you're just gonna have to take my word. But all of them said so. So while I don't encourage VTubing at all, because I think it encourages egotism and bottling up your emotions, for any aspiring VTubers out there, do not get picked up by one of these companies. Just do it on your own. I also want to make it known that this is not a special isolated event. <laughs> Workplace abuse in Japan it has just an entire rabbit hole of depression that you should probably look into because it happens in all kinds of things, especially in anime industries. Just as a reminder, because I don't want anyone to ever forget this, the YouTube channel and company Mob Games slash Enchanted Mob slash Examination slash whatever other stupid name they go by did basically the exact same thing to a kid named Ericoaster a long time ago and then copied his game. They're the creators of Poppy Playtime, and you should never forget that, and they should never be forgiven for that because they've tried to cover everything up and not really apologize at all. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Very messed up stuff. I don't know what else I'm saying right now.